And I haven't even got to the big issue yet. I've been holding off the question of Satoshi Nakamoto. (laughs) Did you forget? So before I say what I'm going to say, because I know you're going to get triggered straight away, I'm going to say this. Here's an idea to contemplate that I don't think anybody really is contemplating. I think somewhere in the back of people's minds, they think that this is going to happen one day. Maybe not so much in the BTC cult. Maybe not so much amongst those who are Craig Wright's detractors. I think it's more an idea that floats around in the BSV space. And here it is. Satoshi Nakamoto will never sign. Ever. If Craig Wright is Satoshi Nakamoto, he's never going to sign. And if Satoshi Nakamoto is out there, he will never sign. Those 1.1 million BTC will never move. Ever. Unless perhaps it's by court order. (laughs) I don't think it requires a new opcode for a court to say we need to move coins if it ever gets to that. And I have some issues with that, which I might address in another video. But nobody is ever going to move those coins. Not fire an official transaction. Nobody's going to sign a message saying, I am Craig Wright, a.k.a. Satoshi Nakamoto. Or, I am not Craig Wright, I am X person, a.k.a. Satoshi Nakamoto. Right? It's never going to happen. Ever. And this idea of who is Satoshi Nakamoto will never be definitively resolved, at least according to those lines. And I don't think it will ever be definitively resolved at all. This is the grey zone. The grey zone will exist in perpetuity. It will never go away. The attacks on BSV, this schism that exists in the space will be there forever in the crypto space, right? It'll be interesting to see what form it takes in 15 years' time. It might be a side note thing, but it won't ever go away. (laughs) Okay, so you got that? It's never going to happen. The signing's never going to happen. So before I say the next thing, I'll reiterate what I've just said. Satoshi will never sign. Satoshi will never move those coins. Craig Wright, if he is Satoshi, probably shouldn't sign or move the coins because it'd be a really stupid move for multiple reasons. Okay, so are we clear with that? I don't expect a signage to happen. I don't expect coins to move. However, if either of these things took place with proof that it came from Craig Wright, that would seal it for me that he is Satoshi. Maybe 99.5% chance. And then there are the other reasons that he got the keys somehow, right? But it's a moot point for me at that point. And just to hammer the point home, I don't care if either of these things happen. I'm not looking for it to happen. I think it's probably a stupid move. I'm not one of these people on Twitter or wherever who goes, Bloody stupid. Half of them are trolls. They just want to get rise out of people. They don't care. They probably even know that it'd be a stupid move. So here it is. It distinguishes me from the rest of the people in the BSV space. I've heard people say that they know who Satoshi Nakamoto is in BSV many times. Many prominent figures say they know it. What's interesting is Shadders, lead developer for Genesis Restoration, was interviewed during that period and he said that he knew that Craig Wright was Satoshi Nakamoto. Now, I don't know when Shadders went back on that, But suddenly now, he no longer knows. (laughs) Or he knows that Craig Wright isn't. So he's gone back on that. He was so definite back then. He said, I don't believe that Craig Wright is. I know that he is. So there was also Brian X. Charles. I'm pretty sure he said that he knew Craig Wright was Satoshi Nakamoto. I don't know if he believes that anymore, but he's definitely disappeared from BSV. There was Gavin Andresen who said he believed he was. But now, apparently, he's retracted that. However, if you actually go and look at his statements, it's a bit more ambiguous than that. It really doesn't say definitively that he's retracted that. 
That's very interesting. Very, very grey zone. <laughs> so here's my take. I'm completely 50-50. I am right in the grey zone. And I don't have a problem with that. I think that there's strong, compelling evidence that he is. It all just makes sense, right? And then you see all of these forged attempts to prove that he is. And you go, man, that is just so bad. Now, there is an argument that that is all deliberate as well. And that could be the case. So just grey zone everywhere. Grey, grey, grey. So I'm at that point where it's just 50-50. I'm 50% that he is, 50% that he isn't. You know, if it came out that he was definitively Satoshi tomorrow, I wouldn't be shocked. And if it came out that he wasn't, and it was definitive that he wasn't, I wouldn't be shocked. Either way, I wouldn't be shocked. That's what living in the grey zone is. That's what being able to exist in that zone is. It also allows you to be a bit more objective. So, your coin is your dogma. Your investment is your dogma. I worked for the credit card department of a large Australian bank in the late 1990s, and it was the worst job I've ever had. The reason is that dealing with people, especially over their monetary and financial matters, is the worst because they can't act rationally they lose their shit completely when it comes to money. They completely lose the plot. You can't have a rational conversation with them. They become animalistic. They become nasty and vitriolic. I had one guy who was so incredibly nasty to me on a phone call once that I wrote down his number, kept it aside, and when I was out partying one night, I rang him up in the middle of the night to abuse the living daylights out of him. So if you've got an investment, particularly if you're invested somewhat emotionally in the project, it's almost impossible to be completely objective. And this is what Craig Wright is. People can't be objective over him. He causes people all sorts of emotions. Hatred, anger, love, idolatry. <laughs> So my opinion is that this grey area is never going to go away in the whole Bitcoin space, right? And it's probably a good thing. It's probably keeping it in check. I think Craig Wright keeps the whole place in check, in a way. Whether or not he is Satoshi, that lightning rod aspect about him, that grey zone that people can't deal with, is what they need to face, is what they need to sit in and own are you owning it? Are you able to exist in the grey zone? That's the video. Ciao for now.